Hi guys, hey guys, what's up guys? My name is Shalar and this is A Safe Place. Okay, so today's video is a regular degular schmegula makeup tutorial on how I did this. I just wanted to play in makeup. I've been in a really weird space. If you haven't checked out my last video from Monday about my life update, you you should. I'll link it in the cards. Probably when I start this tutorial. But I just wanted to play in makeup and I'm probably going to do this a few more times. I want to try and incorporate more tutorials on my channel of different looks. This one was pretty simple. Um, But yeah, that's what I did here. I just wanted to play around with color but not color if that makes sense. Um, if you are new here, hi, thank you for coming. Thank you for clicking on my face. Thank you for being interested in this look. Um, I upload two to three times a week, Mondays and Fridays, definitely. And sometimes Wednesdays, in case you're wondering, I do focus on mental and emotional health. I try to incorporate beauty, lifestyle, and fashion to make you a well-rounded person after surviving your traumas and showing you that there is still life to live. So, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Join the support group gang, and I really appreciate it. But if you're not new, welcome back. You're the real MVP as always, and I'm always ready to have you on my channel. And yes, I did my makeup in this hoodie. The ring around it was already dirty because I've been living in this hoodie. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should be, you've seen it in a post, you've seen it in a story, and it's been in my vlog video. So you should already know how I feel about this hoodie. So it's going to get washed today. And shout out to Clarissa because I kind of want a black one. Don't know when I'm going to be able to afford to get one, but I want a black one. I want a black sweat suit from her. Um, but yeah, without further ado, this video is going to switch into a voiceover. So let's get started. Okay, guys. So for the first thing we're going to do, because we're doing our base first today, we're moisturizing. I'm going to put all the products on the screen and they will be in the description box below. So you're just watching me moisturize and I'm prepping my skin for foundation and the next step would be my liquid highlighter or my shade FX drops as they're called. I'm gonna buff that in and then you know my regular routine of putting setting powder before foundation. That will be after this. So now I'm going in with my foundation and then after my foundation is done, I'm going to highlight with concealer, contour with concealer. Just so you guys know, I did not contour my jaw, my jawline because I'm in a hoodie. Yes, I'm doing my makeup in a hoodie. The ring around the hoodie was already dirty because I've been living in this hoodie, like I said before, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But you'll see that like my jawline and my little chin and a half is still pretty plump and round because I did not contour them. So that's why. So I sprayed setting spray on my brush because my contour is really stiff. I'm using a really like matte contour. I'm doing my brows. I was doing my brows after my base for a while and then because I was doing elaborate eye looks, I started doing them before. So I'm just doing my brows now. Um, I don't carve out the top. I was just highlighting and fixing the bottom. I actually think I prefer this method over doing them before because they have a tendency to disappear when you put your base on when you do them before. Um, then I go in and start my eyeshadow after that. So here I'm just cleaning it up, like I said.
Okay, just in case anyone asks, the brushes that I'm using with these gold tips are a part of Morphe's holiday collection. These are the last things I bought from Morphe. I think I'm good with Morphe products for a while due to the fact that they are now endorsing Nikita Dragon and it's like, come on, why do we keep picking problematic people to endorse? By the way, sorry, I was talking to my nephew here and then later on you'll see I was talking to my sister. It's a whole thing, but don't mind that. Um, palette colors are on the screen, as you know, as I've been doing, which I actually really like, so you guys can see what palette it is. In case you were wondering, it is the Raw Beauty Christie and Pure palette. It is a double-sided palette, so that's why you see the pictures switch with when I pick colors because it's two-sided and not just one flat palette. Okay, so instead of using a black liner, I'm using a brown gel liner to do a tiny wing just to get my lash line to look thicker. I didn't want anything crazy. I wanted it to settle. And then after this, I go in with a beige liner for my waterline because white would be too out there since I'm, you know, brown. So beige is what I would use. But if you're not brown and you're of a lighter skin complexion, white would be your ideal for this part. And then I went in with my inner corner, as I usually do. By the way, this brush is not called a bullet brush, it's called a pencil brush. I just call it a bullet brush because I think the tip of it looks like a bullet. That's just me though. After I dusted away the powder I put underneath my under eye to catch my fallout, I did set my powder, my face with a face powder. That's what I'm doing right here. Um, that was just because I brushed away too much and kind of it kind of got a little patchy. And then a lot of the glitter from the eyeshadow got on it, so I had to brush some of it away with actual powder. Um, I'm bronzing like I usually do. Then blush will come afterwards, as always. And honestly, the look is pretty much done here. I just put my lashes on and mascara on and my lips. I didn't do anything with my hair. By the way guys, I think my hair makes me look like a dinosaur so don't say anything about it. I like it but I do feel like I look prehistoric. All right, so here you go, guys. Here's the final look. Um, I was trying to go for a cooler toned look. I like this, but I don't know. Maybe it's the hair. I don't know. Maybe it's the lack of accessories. I like it. I just feel like it's still incomplete for some reason. But, you know, that's just me. That's here and there. Um, I'm going to try and do more tutorials, just actual tutorials. Because I know people actually do still like to look at them and watch them and find them useful. So I am going to do that. Um, but let me know what you want to see for holiday content. Because I still have no idea what I want to do for December. And I'm still playing around with things on this channel. So I will keep y'all posted. Um, but until next time. <laughs> 
stay warm because this weather acting up out here stay conscious conscious for some reason i can't pronounce that word stay caring stay proactive stay productive and as always stay beautiful and stay you